on this episode of Inside Roan State. Groundbreaking for a new building at the Oak Ridge campus. Spring commencement. Opportunities in international education. And more. This is Inside Roan State for June 2012. On Tuesday, June 5th, school and civic leaders broke ground on the new Health Sciences and Technology Building at Rowan State Community College's Oak Ridge Campus. The three-story, 64,000 square foot building will give Rowan State the space to offer new programs, such as surgical technology and medical lab technology. It will include a flex lab, which can be easily configured to suit the training needs of local industries. Rowan State's Occupational Therapy Assistant Program will be housed in the new building, giving those students access to larger and more sophisticated labs. Well, it's a great time time for the Oak Ridge, the whole Oak Ridge community. I've been living here for three years and working on this project since 2005. Um, as part of the Rhone State Foundation, I'm the executive director for that, so I've been involved with all the fundraising in all the years, so it's a near and dear personal project. And I know that it's going to make a huge difference in the life of all of our students. We're so overcrowded here and we could take so many more students if we just had the space. So very soon we're going to have space to add four new programs and have almost six, 16 new classrooms and 38 new offices and plenty of space for people to do things and we can grow and make Road State even better in Oak Ridge. The existing building on the Oak Ridge campus was designed for 1,800 students, but it now accommodates 2,700 students. The new building will alleviate overcrowding and provide space for new programs. The importance of it to the college is that we're going to have additional classroom space uh, as well as having focus on allied health programs and technology programs which are the 21st century skills that we need to train people in so they can enter the workforce here in the region. Just the ability to accommodate the student demand is crucial. With the faculty and staff working at the Oak Ridge campus it gives them an opportunity to have uh, better spaces uh, and have spaces designed to meet the curriculum needs of these programs. So, it is unbelievably important to the college. It will be about half the size of the current building at the Oak Ridge campus, so it really does give us the capability to expand into the future. The new building also reflects an investment from the business community in Tyrone State. Through donations from city and county governments, as well as contributions from local businesses and individuals, Roan State was able to raise $2.5 million in private funds, which were met with a $9 million match in state funding. School leaders decided to add a third story to the building now instead of later. When we looked at the possibility of going in and doing the third floor now, and the cost savings doing it now versus waiting a year or two, just in the construction cost, was going to be an incredible uh, a price difference, if you will. So we made uh, the decision, and I think uh, a really, really good one, to go ahead, let's, uh, let's uh, take some of the, the, the funds that we've been able to accumulate and spend it for that purpose. And again, it's all about benefiting the students, the classroom space, the program space. Uh, we know the demand is there, we know the need is there, and we'll be able to have our facilities match the demand now. The new building will have additional space for nursing students, massage therapy students, and pharmacy technician students. The building will also include faculty offices and two large stadium-style classrooms for academic courses and community use. Classes are expected to begin in the new Health Sciences and Technology Building in spring 2014. Roan State President Dr. Gary Goff has announced his plan to retire effective October 31st. During his six years as leader, Roan State has seen continued growth in student population and campus facilities, as well as a new presence in downtown Harriman, where Roan State operates the Princess Theater and Channel 15. Dr. Goff said the decision to retire was a deeply personal one, but he is looking forward to spending more time with his grandkids. I'm going to coach my four-year-old grandson's soccer team as well as my eight-year-old grandson's soccer team and I'll be watching a lot of ballet uh, classes for my six-year-old granddaughter. But I want to give back to them the experiences I had growing up with my own grandparents and the, and the big warm spots in my heart for my grandmother and grandfather. I want to give that back to them. And, and I've not been able to do that. Uh, you know, I'll see them two or three times a year for a day or two but I haven't been able to really be engaged in their life and, and, and I, I have that strong desire to do that. The Tennessee Board of Regents will move to replace Dr. Goff before his retirement on October 31st. Hundreds of graduates received their degrees at Roan State's spring commencement ceremonies on May 4th and 5th. President Dr. Gary Goff says it's a fitting capstone for students. 
To me, graduation's the, the best time of the year. It really is a celebration, and I, and I really mean that truly because it's the celebration for the graduates themselves and their families, but it's also a celebration for the faculty and for the administrators at Roan State that this is a special event in the life of the college. So to me, it's always a fun time. Uh, it validates the long, hard work for the, that occurs during the academic year. It gives us an opportunity to rejoice in the successful completion of a degree from our students. And so it gives us a time to show off the campus, to have all of these several thousand visitors on the campus, and gives us an opportunity to just applaud their success of getting their degree. And I know they are looking at it as a, a stepping stone into work or advancing to a university to finish a bachelor's degree. So it really is a transitional period as well as a celebration. Coming up next, information on the new ACE Accelerator program and high marks for Roan State in a national ranking. Stick around.